I have done quite a few meter reviews on this channel. And to be honest with you, quite a few of them have been Kaiweets meters. I wasn't sure what to expect when this one showed up in the mail, but I figured I would share it with you. And we'll do some, we'll do some first looks, we'll do some initial impressions with it, and we will take it from there. Oh, inside the box is a case. All right, I'm, I'm liking that already because I like to have things that have multiple parts need to have a, a bag, a case of some kind to keep all of those parts together in. Otherwise, you wind up losing parts and who wants to lose parts? So we've got some instructions here, multiple language instructions as expected. I also kind of thought this would be a clone of other meters. This looks a lot like the meter that uh, Jim over at FEP Labs reviewed from Ven Labs, but it is different as you can see, and the build quality looks like it's a little bit, little bit better. Let's, uh oh, hang on, hang on. Hold the, pump the brakes, watch it. Let's get in here, very gently. There we go. Oh, nice. All right, that is gone. It's got a little bit of a rubberized case on the outside. It's got a place to hold your probes. It's got a hole in it for a hook. It's got a place for a lanyard if you wanted to do that. It's got a tilt bale to stand it up at a, at a pleasant viewing angle. Nice. So that's all of that stuff. We need batteries. Okay. Since this is a Kaiweets video, I need to use my Kaiweets toolkit to get into the battery compartment. I'll need that and I will need a number two Phillips. Okay. I was thinking there might be another screw. I didn't see another screw there. One double A, two double A, the double A in, double A in, cover back on, throw it in nice and tight. All right, let's see what else we get with it. We have a temperature probe set. I'm gonna leave that in the bag so that the leads don't get crossed with these leads. And this meter only comes with one set of batteries. The other Kaiweets meter that they sent over came with two sets, the KM601 that I use all the time, the one with the color LCD screen. All right, so these are Cat4, 600 volt leads, max 10 amps. And we've got milliamps, we've got 10 amps, and our normal testing socket there. Put the red one in the red one. We have probe covers, so you can do some fine detail work without crossing the leads. And we've got regular long probes. They're sharp, but not too sharp. Nice display, 20,000 counts. Where's my beep? I gotta put it into beep mode. Once you make the connection, it's good. But if you are a delicate touch, it takes a little while. But if you're forceful about it, like if you mean to test something, it'll do its thing. Backlight. Nice. Flashlight. Turn off the backlight. Turn off the flashlight. It's got a hold function. So we've got, this looks like it's auto ranging. Okay, so we've got volts here and we can switch it to AC from DC. And on AC, it'll give us a frequency count. Millivolts, same thing, AC, DC, frequency. It's just a straight up frequency counter. Resistance diode and continuity. This is capacitance. This is temperature. It'll do Celsius and Fahrenheit. So it's 72 degrees in the room here, which is about right. And I'm not even using the temperature probe. I'm just using the regular probe. Probably be more accurate with the temperature probe. Microamps in, in Hertz, milliamps, amps, non-contact voltage. So it's beeping without contacting anything, probably because the probes are in. Right, it does the thing on non-contact voltage. I didn't think I would use non-contact voltage as much as I actually do use it. Uh, it's very easy to determine, instead of getting out your probes and checking stuff out, you can throw a breaker off and then you can touch the wire next to the thing that you're working on, and it works out really well for that. So this actually has become fairly useful in my toolkit, and once you get used to how it works, it works out pretty well. So that's it on the Kaiweets HT-118E. There is a link in the description down below for this meter. This looks like a fantastic deal. Like I said, 20,000 counts, lots of features that you would use, nice little bale for we get it out of that mode so it stops beeping. Nice little bail for putting on your desk at a nice viewing angle, backlight, flashlight. When you change, that's nice. When you change functions, it tells you where to put the probes. So you can't mess that up. Perfect. All right, there is a link in the description down below for this. There's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you over there.